I need you to comment and let me know if you think that it was okay that she was kicked out of a fine dining restaurant because of this outfit. I want you to look at it again and I'm gonna give you some more details because you're probably like she should have. Uh-uh, you gotta hear the whole thing. Not only was she kicked out because of the outfit, she also feels that she was discriminated against. And she also happens to be a leader in the Baton Rouge NAACP office, baby. And this happened at Stab's uh, Prom Steak and Seafood Restaurant in Baton Rouge, Louisiana. They are a fine dining restaurant and the average cost per person is going to be about $100. If time runs out, make sure you go to my YouTube, The Carolina Diamond, like, comment, subscribe, and hit the notification button. This picture right here is the same outfit that she was wearing at the same restaurant before. She's been to the restaurant plenty of times and dressed the same way. It's Louisiana. It's hot. This is one of the co-owners and she's the one that told her that she cannot stay because of her outfit. Being in here with it on several times before and she's like, well, I have nothing to do with what's happened before, but we've cracked down on our policy recently on what people wear. And I said, well, I was just in here like two weeks ago with a similar outfit on. And she was like, well, um, that has nothing to do with me and just walked off and stopped talking to me like sentence. This is a picture of a server because Iman said that while she was talking to the manager, she was taking pictures because there was wait staff, fishnet stockings on, tattooed down, shorts on, just dressed inappropriately for this fine dining restaurant that all of a sudden is observing a dress code policy. The reason why Iman thinks that it's racial discrimination because she saw people that did not look like her dress inappropriately. This is Getaway's 2.0 Instagram page. And when they saw her story, they went and they got pictures to prove her point. This is one of them, okay? This is another. Halter top, halter dress, whatever she got on. Doesn't look any much different than Iman's. Now, they did release a statement, you know, saying that they are following their dress policy and their staff are, you know, they're giving their staff time to be able to follow the policy. But if you don't even have your staff following the policy or you got to give them time, then how are you going to make patrons follow the policy or actually paying for their dinner? I did go on their website to see if they have a dress policy and they do have a dress policy on there. It says that you can wear business casual, proper attire is required. Appropriate for a fine dining family restaurant. Let me put my glasses on so I can see good, y'all. With respect, kindly remove ball caps when entering our dining room. Thank you for not wearing gym wear, sweatpants, tank tops, clothing with offensive graphic or language, exposed undergarments or revealing clothing, cut off shorts and flip flops, torn jeans. So the wait staff can not follow your dress policy those that do not look like me don't have to follow your policy, but those that look like me have to follow the policy. <laughs> make it make sense. The NWACP has, you know, uh, requested to meet with the restaurant because they want to try to see what's going on with this. So let me know your thoughts. Do you agree that she should have been kicked out after all the information that you now have? Let me know.